guys, it's Cassandra, and today I'm going to be talking about the short story, The Landlady. This story is about a young boy, or young, young man. This story is about a young man named Billy Weaver who goes to the bath for a business trip. The place, not the tub. While he was on his way to go and find a place to stay, he ran across a bed and breakfast. So when he went to go ring on the doorbell, this like really creepy lady showed up, like I don't know why she acted that way, but she was insane. It's scary. Why hello Billy Weaver, what brings you to this bed and breakfast today? Nightmare fuel. <laughs> like I swear, if I knew she was a murderer, I would run out the second I saw her. It's like, that's just weird man. So he decided to rent a room there for whatever reasons he had, which were I mean, I'd probably rent a room, but like, she's a murderer, so. Well, his first reason was because the prices were really low, and second was because he thought the place was safe when it was like, a murder house. And then third, there was just some weird like, vibe or something there that like sort of attracted him to the place. Like murder. <laughs> so he checked out the rooms and they seemed okay, except for they were already made for someone to get into the bed and stuff, which is really creepy. Especially the way she was acting. After he got unpacked, then she asked him to go and check into the guest book. Which was sort of sketchy because it's like, why didn't you just ask him in the first place? But you know, whatever, I guess. So he went to go sign in, and she brought some like tea and cookies like in a tray, but she was like holding them really high, like she wouldn't smell them or whatever. She gave him a teacup and like a cookie and stuff. And too bad they were poisoned. Lots of fun. <laughs> he took a sip of the tea and it tasted like like almonds, bitter almonds, <laughs> which is what cyanide tastes like. So. For some reason, he thought it would be okay to talk to her about these missing people in the newspaper that just happened to be on her guest book. The only two people in her guest book. Like seriously, dude, are you dumb? He is, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> so after he is poisoned, not dead, but poisoned, she tells him that, hey, those two people are still here. They're just stuffed. And so are her pets. Like the little dog and the poor parrot. Poor parrot. So this guy died knowing three things. One, that he was probably gonna be stuffed. Two, those were some good cookies, but poisonous cookies. And three, this lady's crazy. So avoid people at bath at all costs, especially bed and breakfast. They're never good. So after reading this book, I'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10. Because it was like good, but like not the best thing that I've read. And of course, Roll Doll is usually the best thing that you've read, so. And I guess the moral of this story is to one, never trust strangers. And two, appearances aren't everything. Bye guys, and thanks for watching. Oh, and three, don't eat food that strangers give you. Thank you.